Android 16 is here for Google Pixel phones. So if you've got a Pixel 9, Pixel 8, Pixel 7, a couple different phones, you can go ahead and you can get it. You can download it over the air. And there's a lot of new stuff. There's a lot of new stuff that isn't here. And this is exciting because we've been waiting a long time. I guess they wanted to wait until after all the excitement with Android with Apple yesterday. It's funny because Apple launched their WWDC, the other Apple convention. They launched their iOS 26. And, and now it's like, you know what? Here's Android 16. <laughs> and by the way, we've got pretty much all those features you claim that you just came up with anyway. So Android 16, if you want to get it, you can download it over the air. It's going to be rolling out. So very, very important stuff. Uh, I can't get it yet. I tried, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to get it later today or tomorrow. But it's very, very easy, okay? So all you do is you go into your system settings. You scroll down to system. And then once you get there, there's an option for software updates. And then there's an option here for system updates. Tap on that. Now, it should check and see if your phone is up to date, see if there's an update available as soon as you do that. It may do that. It may not do that. What I highly recommend, there's a little button in the bottom right corner that says check for update. Tap that. Now, if it's not available, come back later. <laughs> uh, so they don't roll everything out to everybody all at once. And this is one area where Apple is still ahead because it's like, hey, they drop an update and basically everybody can go get it all at once. Android is still not that way, especially not with the Google Pixel phone. So whenever it comes to the Android 16, Go ahead and get it. If you can't get it, don't be upset. Your phone is still going to work. Your phone is still secure. All those things. So there's not a... I was trying to find a list of all the features that came out. I wanted to run through this. There are some updates, right? So we got like new Ultra HDR update processing. There's a new video update whenever it comes to recording video. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was called. But yeah, there, there, there are some things. Uh, there's not completely complete. Oh yeah, the APV codec, advanced visual video. Uh, for high-end video stuff, uh, they've got RCS group chat. There's some other updates to RCS group chat stuff. And then there's also a bunch of stuff that's going to be coming. So the big thing with Android 16, it feels like this time they just wanted to go ahead and get the operating system out. And then they're like, okay, well, we're going to get it out, but we're going to roll stuff out later. And I feel like they're pulling something from Apple's playbook here. Now, I think what they're trying to do, one, by decompressing Android 16 and by not trying to throw everything out all at once, it allowed them to get it out faster. And then they can actually roll out other features later as we get to quarterly feature drops, as the Pixel 10 launches and different things like that. It's not just like, okay, here, here, we'll just throw everything at the wall all at once and y'all can go ahead and get it, go ahead and download it. And then there's just not a whole lot of excitement later on, even though some of the quarterly feature drops have had some worthwhile things that they've come out with. But yes, uh, I am going to try and make a video for tomorrow to come up and like talk about all the big stuff. We're still waiting on like the Material 3 Expressive, which is one of the big changes with Android 16. It's supposed to come out with the quarterly feature drop, uh, QPR1, later on. So we, we just got this in June, expect it in September. What happens in September? Well, not a whole lot. But we're expecting the Pixel 10 series phones to come out at the end of August. So that would line us up great with September where, okay, you get your new phone a couple weeks after you get it, bam, here's a big update. Here's the material three expressive. Here's all the changes with the user interface and how everything looks and all the changes and all the customizations that you can do. So I think that's why they're doing that. And I think a lot of that's going to lean real heavy for the Pixel 10. But yeah, there's supposed to be a lot of changes to notifications. Uh, some of that stuff also won't be coming until later uh, with like individual app notifications and integrations and things like that. That's something that largely probably won't come out until later as well. Uh, we got, of course, security features. We got a security update, all that stuff. There's like a one-stop shop for all the security stuff, which is nice. You can take a look at all that, especially with the advanced protection. Um, yeah, Ultra HDR images have been improved with support for HEIC encoding. Android 16 offers integration with high-end advanced professional video codec, which will be good. That'll be a big bump for video. Uh, we are getting a desktop windowing service, but it's not going to be available yet. So that's supposed to come out later. It says the feature is available to general users later in the year. Uh, if you've got QPR beta, so if you've got the latest QPR 3 beta for Android 16, you can test that out now. And, you know, the beta is always something that is an option. Some people do it. I don't really encourage it a lot because 
it's never as stable as the actual official launch, official release. Like you want your phone to be as stable as possible, especially if it's your only phone. If you got a secondary phone and you want to try out some of the cool new stuff, go for it. I mean, it's a great opportunity to try out some new stuff, you know, some excitement with your phone. But yeah, I don't recommend it for your primary phone. And then, yeah, updates to the Android ecosystem, RCS group chats. I'm excited about that with custom icons and the ability to mute threads. So that's cool. <laughs> you can have your group chats and then you can mute them so they're not blowing up your phone every five seconds. Uh, and AI enhanced image editor in Google Photos. That'll be neat to try with suggested edits. Emoji Kitchen is receiving a new sticker combination and Wear OS devices can now pay for transit fares without having to open a dedicated app. So that's nice, especially if you're in like New York or Chicago and you're using like the subway system a whole lot. So that's pretty cool. Um, and see, finally, Google's offered details on the Pixel Drop for June. New features include Pixel VIP widget and displays information on preferred contacts with more expressive captions. So yeah, there, there's quite a few things. Uh, I'm gonna try and get an exhaustive list so I can go through this stuff line by line tomorrow and be like, this is new, this is new, this is new, this is what you can expect. And I think that'll be more helpful. Today, go ahead and download it. If you can't download it, wait, check later, check this evening, check in the morning. It's not that big of a deal. We've waited all this time. We're getting it several months early. It didn't come out until September last year, if you remember. So we're in June now. We're getting Android 16 three whole months early, which is really exciting stuff. So just go ahead, check for it, get it if you can, enjoy it if you can download it, test it out, play with it, all that good stuff. And this for sure is going to be the Pixel 9, Pixel 8, Pixel 7 series phones, and maybe Pixel 6. I can't remember. But anyway, so that's all I've got. If you have any questions, comments, gripes, concerns, complaints, all this stuff, of course, please go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, if you like the Pixel content, you're in the right place, hit the like and the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.